Today, we're taking out the center console on our 2014 F-150 Raptor. You clean those, you clean those good. Oh, Up and pull back. And now the truck's disabled, it can't go anywhere. It's out! <laughs> Hey guys, how do we keep it dirty off-road? And today, we're gonna be taking out the center console on my truck because I'm annoyed with it, I hate it. This is gonna start our video series where we're gonna do a custom center console on the truck to make it more off-road friendly and more trail friendly because this thing is awful. There's no storage in it or anything like that. We're also gonna divide this up into a bunch of videos because a lot of what we're gonna be doing is gonna be helpful to the community. I could not find a good video on how to remove the center console, so we're gonna make that our first video. And then second, we're gonna start going over the, what center console we're gonna use in the second video and all the trials and tribulations to do that because that center console houses a lot. It has quite a bit of cables for the Raptors. It has the outfitter switches, and then it also has the amplifier for the whole audio system in there. So we have to take care of all that and figure out where to place it as we replace the console. Now, because of what we're doing and because of a lot of what we're doing is going to be a little bit custom, we're also going to take the seats out just to make our lives easier and to make it easier for us to be able to film this too. Because there's a lot of little areas and all that stuff in order to get it out. For you guys doing this, for you guys that want to get your center console out, you don't have to take the seats out. We're just doing it because it's going to make it easier for us. It's going to make it get easier to film. All right, let's get to it. Now, the first step in removing seats is you got to clean your bolts. Each seat has four bolts, two in the back and two in the front, and those actually go through the body. So you want to make sure you get under there and clean them up so you don't strip the welded nut that's in there. So that's what Ethan is doing right now. Now, see, the first two on the sides are really easy to spot. You have that one right there. You have that one. If you ever go mudding, if you have an inclement weather or whatever, it's a good idea to come in here and clean these up because if you don't, they will strip. Now, the other two are hidden. I think one of them is under that cross member right there, and then the other one's under the heat shield. So you probably won't be able to get to those. At least try to clean off the ones you can before you take the seat out. It'll save you a ton of heartache and hopefully you don't strip anything. You clean those, you clean those good. Yeah. Move the seat all the way back to take the front bolt off. And that'll give you access to the two front bolts. You have one there and one over there. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. All right, now we have to do the back bolts. Yep. Now we're ready for the back bolts. Super long, huh? Now we have to disconnect the seat belt in order to get the seat out. This little panel comes off, and then we need to get that and disconnect that. All right, so this right here, this little bolt back here, is a seven mil. There it is. That fucking thing. So no. Only this one needs to come off so we can access that one right here. Now this right here is a T forty seven. Go ahead, disconnect that. Spread off to the side and the seat should be ready to come up. Now, before we do that, we're gonna do a couple things to help ourselves out here. One, we're gonna put this bolt back in here, but without hooking it back up, and we're gonna put our panels back so we don't lose anything. One, you got this. Okay, now it's on place. Before we disconnect everything, I'm gonna put this back a little bit so it's a little bit even. Okay, Ethan, I need you to tilt that towards the back. Now here, we gotta get that disconnected. It should be relatively easy. Is we took a flathead, Pop this off like that. Then you just do that. Pops off, and the seat's ready to come up. Okay. We should have angled it back more, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now we need to need to do some cleanup, Ethan. See, dirty. The main front seat has two harnesses. It has this one and that one. And it's the same process to disconnect both. There we go. There she is. Whoops. And yeah, we do gotta do some cleanup. It's gross. Okay, so the reason why we wanted to take the seats out is so we can have easy access to everything we need to access. So there's a couple of points that hold this console in a place. First, there's these two bolts in the back. You should be able to reach these if you scoot your chair all the way forward, but as you can see, the chair gets in the way, so that's one of the reasons why we removed them. Next, there's bolts behind that panel. 
and then there's bolts holding in right there. So what we're gonna do now is start taking this apart so that we can start accessing all the bolts and all the wire harnesses and everything else that needs to be disconnected. First thing we need to do is take this panel out. You've done it before. Break the truck. You're doing it, yeah, Derby. You can see there's a couple of bolts here. Well, that this is the one we need to get. So that one. Right, and then all of our wire harnesses and everything is right here too. Right? So we have the big wire harness and everything. So let's go do the same thing on the other side. Break your chuck. Yeah. Why did that come out so easily? Okay, next we need to pop this top cover off. Now, depending on the model, it's gonna be different. Uh, the Raptors are a little bit different than the other ones, so we're gonna start popping it off right there. You gotta pop up over here somewhere. Yeah. Go from the sides, underneath it. Okay, now we should be able to pop this off too. See if you can pop that off. Oh, well, to be careful. It's good to be good. Okay, got go. So there are three connectors we have to take off. Two on the bottom, one on the top. Two, three. Let's see. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can lift that up. Will it pop, pull back or no? And that's what I'm trying to do now. Oh, oh. don't want to do that. See those two bolts? Let me see. There's a yep. bolt there, and there should be a bolt on the other side. Yep, that's what we got to take off next. See. And those are seven mil, right? I think. Yep, eight. Okay. Don't lose it. Okay. Don't lose it. No, this one's gonna be the hard part. It's in neutral. See if you can go back. Go ahead, just take it out slowly. All right, let's see if that piece will come out then. I feel like there's one more thing holding it in. It feels like it is, huh? I think it might be something up here. Let's pop it off. Like if you look at it, it's uneven right here. Okay. This one looks like it's all the way down, so I have to... Pop it out. There we go. Okay. And we have to do this again. Okay, go ahead. Right there we go. There we go. And let's pop that off. There we go. See if you can lift and pull it back a little bit. Okay. I can lift up. Oh, wait. Can you pull back? You got to lift up and pull back. See? Now it's disconnected. Next thing we got to do is we got to disconnect all the harnesses and then disconnect the uh, shifter. So let's do the harnesses first. Okay, and then you just pop that up, push in and pop up. There it is. And you should be able to pull it out. Ow. Now it's just these. That's just the radio stuff right there. So That's from the previous install, which we'll take care of later. We won't worry about that right now. Separate video. Let's worry about the shifter. The only thing holding the whole center console in place anymore now is the cable for the transmission. So we're gonna try to figure out how to pop that off. No video showed us how to do that. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be some trial and error. Show them how to take it out. So you push through that little window, and then you pull up. That's it. Now we gotta disconnect this. Okay, we got four bolts to take out, one on each corner, so there's right there, one right there, one down there, and then that one. So we're gonna take all four of those out. That bolt's still in there. I think that's probably the best. Let's see if we can pull that up. Is it this? Mm -hmm. Pull it up. So I am stuck, and I figured out how I'm stuck. What's this? It's not my car, I don't wanna break it! Let's not lose this stuff, so the bolts, I don't wanna lose them. Next, we're gonna pry that off. Let's hope this works. It just comes off. Yeah, get a pry tool. There we go. There you go. Just pry it off from the bottom. And that's actually really cool because this is one whole piece. And that's gonna make it that much easier for us to integrate it into the new solution. So let's like disconnect this. it. There it is. All right, take that out. <laughs> I came out. Oh, that's actually really good news. That's super good news. And now the truck's disabled. It can't go anywhere. All right, now let's uh, pull this out. Ready? Let's pull it out. Gently. <laughs> it's out. And this is what I was telling you guys. Your amplifier is sitting right under here. Oh, wow. So like if you needed access to replace your amp, and what is that? What does that say that is? Restraint control system. So that's also part of your airbag system that's right there too. So there's a lot of stuff under here. Want me to take this out? Yeah, let's go ahead and take it out. It's out! <laughs> Put it down and pop it over. Now there's a couple things we need from this. First and foremost, we're gonna need to get that control panel and make sure we integrate it into the uh, new setup. Go ahead and lift it up. We also need to get all the cable. It might not be a bad idea to get the vent system too, but we'll have to figure that out. We do have to scavenge a bunch of 
cabling and stuff from that from this but uh i think regardless we have to take the vent system out well yeah regardless to get everything we need because like we can reuse the cigarette lighter and i want to reuse a cigarette lighter but everything right here right. is underneath the vent system so regardless we have to take that out so why don't we do that next because some of you guys may be replacing this it may not have everything so we're going to show you guys how to get everything out all right Ethan, you want to place bets that everything in here is eight mil because everything every bolt we've come in contact right it's been an eight mil so let's, let's see <laughs> No. no. Oh, it's a seven. First different size. So I think we might have to pop off this back piece. Ready? Go ahead. Let's see if it works. <laughs> it worked. It's two bolts holding that in right there from the back, too. Oh, shit. Oh, oh you should be able to take it out. I mean, it's out. Now we should be able to take this piece out. Yep. All right, now let's flip it over and uh, do that right. There they are. We should be able to pop this up. You think it's a seven as well? It is. Yep. All right. What I want to get is these. So we're going to need to disconnect these. Disconnect them. And then we got to push them through. Okay. Now we got to push those through. Now yeah. to do that, we have to be extra careful because we got to push the tabs in. Those, then you can get the other side. Okay. What the crap? Yeah. So we're gonna disconnect that. It's a new little LED light. These just pop off, or at least they should. They're gonna go a bit better. Let's disconnect these. Okay. It looks like there's clips right there. If you look at it, my God. Push it in. There it is. It went through. These. I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's a trick to these on how they come out. So to get these out, you actually have to push them through. And if you look, see this little tab right here? There's a tab here and there's a tab there. You have to pry those out and then push this through. Because you can't, these, see this tab right here? This tab won't release because the, the barrel locks it in place. So that tab won't release until this is pushed through. So you gotta very carefully get this thing to come through. Just got the other one to release. This is a pain in the butt. We kind of had to break the brackets yeah. a little bit, but now that we got them broken, and then this, we finally, finally push those in, it goes all the way through. Okay, we need to get this wire harness out, and we gotta get those, and these three out. Those! Press! And the other one's right there. We don't need to worry about it. Okay, now we gotta feed all the things through. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. Alright. Now this is completely useless. Now we're gonna put this back together. Uh, to help me out later so I don't lose track of all this, I'm actually going to connect a lot of the accessories back to make sure that I got everything in the right spot. And these only go in one direction. What was there? Maybe. Probably not. Try again. If it didn't go in, don't force it. It's not. It doesn't go in. Don't put it there. Is that one going? There you go. Oh, the, the stuff direction. Right, right there. Yeah, there you go. You got this. Go in one way. You have the USB right there. My bad. You got this. And this. You're doing great. There. You got this. Now this one. I think is this one right here. Yep. It doesn't matter, honestly. They're about the same. I think that one was this, this one, one because oh yeah, this yeah. one right here. Yeah. This one is this. That is all of our connections. This one went to the shifter, right? Sure. And, and then that's for the yeah. This is for the USB. So now I have my harness all saved up, and I can reuse it on the next setup. All right. So we're gonna go this center console to this. So this is a Tory Products Law Enforcement Type Center Console. We have a bunch of accessories from uh, the armrests, cup holders, a bunch of different plates to hold our radios and to hold all of our uh, power units and everything, right? It even has uh, plates over here for power and everything. And then this whole area is open. We can do whatever we want. We decided to go this route rather than something fully custom because of the price. This is far more affordable. All right, so this is where we're at. I'm glad this is one piece. I just got to figure out something to hold this. And I can connect it all. It has everything I need. So it's going to make it easy. Got my wire harness over there. So should be able to hook everything up. And then we went ahead and put all the bolts back where they were so we don't lose them. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys found this helpful on how to 
take the center console out. Next steps, we're gonna start fitting our new center console and start figuring out how we're gonna get that in here and how we're gonna start doing our accessories. So gonna get rid of that. I don't want my intercom on the side over there. So we'll be replacing that and putting that intercom in our center console and putting all of our radios and everything into a center console. So I hope you guys tune in over the coming weeks as we figure out how to get this installed and how to customize it for our needs in the off-roading side. So we can run multiple radios, put all of our switches in here, put anything we want in here. You know, the sky's the limit with this little setup. Hi right, guys, question the comments below. Please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. This is gonna be a bitch.